it's no different than any mass event that comes to town in these small towns. Uh, one, um, you know, rural fire departments, EMS are finding it extremely hard to find volunteers anymore. So we're already short staffed to begin with. And now you go and add uh, a big event, a, a, I'd say a long term event like this, where we constantly have these protests and pipelines. Um, now you're not only splitting um, our, our valuable resources between one, two events, maybe three or four. And so it's, it's a lot harder from my standpoint to coordinate manpower um, across the events because you don't want to leave the folks on the pipeline stranded, but you also need to take care of your community and stuff. So it's an extreme challenge with, um, with the short staff we already have. I mean, it, it's all across the state that rural fire departments, um, EMS, all these volunteer organizations are really struggling to fill their roster. And now you're bringing in stuff like this that in theory shouldn't even happen. Oh, we don't wanna push guys too far. We don't wanna to ask uh, too much of people. And uh, it, it's a little bit scary, frankly, to think about uh, people who might have bad intentions. We're, we're used to working with people in bad scenarios, uh, people who are having a bad day are usually the people who call the fire department, frankly. But usually it's just accidental or incidental uh, situations that, that it require our involvement. Um, but hopefully people have the sense and, and uh, to seek safety and, and not create those kind of situations that necessitate our involvement.